Okay, today we're going to do the 2D Array DS uh, problem on HackerRank. Okay, so what this problem is asking us to do is given an n by n matrix, in this case we're given a 6 by 6 matrix we are supposed to find all the po possible patterns of i. So in this situation, we would say that we have We would say that we have our first i in this square. And this i would consist of these values here, which, sorry for the bad handwriting here, but they're all negative nines. So this would be our first I in this matrix. Similarly, we could find our next I in this section of the matrix and will be consisting of these values in the shape of an I. We would not only find all possible i's for our given matrix, but we will find the sum of all of our i's. So in this situation, we would add the sum of all of these, which is negative 9 minus 9 minus 9 minus 9 minus 9, minus 9, minus 9. So we will subtract all seven nines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This should then give us negative 63. And we will do this for all other possible i's in this matrix. And then we will find which section of i's will give us the largest value. So it might be this section here. It might be this section here. It might be this section here. To make this problem more clear, we have a sample input here of an n by n matrix. And here we identify again the i as the, the structure of ones. So we have 1, 1 here, 1, 1, 1 here. We will then find the i's of all of these. These are all possible i's that are driven from this matrix here. We will find the individual sums of all i's and find which one's the greatest. Okay, so now it's time to implement our code. And the first thing we wanna do is iterate through our given array. So we say int i is equal to zero, i is less than r dot length i plus plus and then again for the columns so j should i j so this would uh 
allow us to go through the entire array, except uh, we don't have to go through the entire, through all of the columns and all of the rows. So when we create our I, for example, of these nines right here, you will notice that once we get up to, say, this point, we cannot com we cannot create a complete I because we're missing a value here, right? So the last I that we could create would be this one right here, right? And it would be at this value right here, which is notice that this value right here would be two less than, right? We're gonna have to keep that in mind. And same with if we try to create an I that's down here. We could do this, but we cannot complete the I because there's nothing down here. So we'd have to create one that's less than two here. Right. So the last I we could create would be this green one right here. Now this two and this two is going to be important for our constraints. So now the reason that the two constraints of twos that we talked about earlier is important is because we're going to add them when we iterate through our um, array through our matrix. So we're going to add our first constraint here and we're going to add our first constraint here. And these are the two twos that we discussed uh, earlier. Now we're going to create a variable that will store the value of every i and initiate it to zero and create another variable maximum i that we would pass at the end of the function max i. Now the way that we're going to get all of these values for all of i's is we're gonna see the positions of these initial i's so that's gonna be important in a bit so the position of this one would be 0, 0. This one would be 0, 1, 0, 2. This one will be 1, 1. So there's a 0 here. 1, 2, 3. And then 0, 1, 2 three and so on and so forth. So zero 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 one zero two one one zero sorry two zero two one two two so zero 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 one zero two one one 2, 0, 2, 1, and 2, 2 are the positions for our initial i. Again, the positions that we said earlier would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. And to take into account every i, we will add the i index and j index into all of the values. So... And this will give us the total i value for every i in the matrix. Now, we want to make sure that we get the maximum i value. So we say if max i is less than value i, max i will be value i. 
And before we run this code, we have a bit of a mistake. And the map mistake would be initiating max i to zero. We can't really initiate max i to zero because when we check if it's the biggest one, there could be i's that are negative and there could be a, a maximum i that's the maximum, which would be greater than zero. So we will change max i to, so I have changed max i to the very first i value. Now that we run this program, you can see that we have successfully done all test cases.